Hi, this is Robert from Part Fusion Electronics. About two weeks ago, I uploaded a video where I described the manual techniques I used to create these giant LEDs. When you look at them, there's actually quite a lot of inconsistencies in the, the way I had constructed the LEDs. You know, the dimensions aren't the same, slightly oval shape, the lip sizes are different, the leads are a bit skew or bent, and then the internal details of the PCB aren't as nice as I'd like them to be. So in this video series, I'm gonna explore the use of 3D printing technology and manual techniques to make a very refined version of my giant LED. So the dimensions here have a plus and minus range and that's quite common. So that gives us some creative choices on how we design our LED. So what we're gonna do is make a giant LED. And so the basic shape is, is we start off with a dome and then we have a cylinder then we have a, another shorter cylinder, which is wider. And there's a chunk taken out of here on the side. Then we have a short lead and a long lead, which is our anode. The dimension of the body is 50 millimeters. The overall height of the LED bulb, 87. For the lip is 11. And the overall length, 270 millimeters. There's also the diameter of this lip, which is 58, and the the centers between the leads, two, five, four. And then these legs I'm gonna try and make square, 5.5. This leg is slightly shorter, this is by 20 millimeters. There's also some internal details inside the LED, which I'm not really going into a huge amount of detail. There's an anvil shape on the, or I've chosen to put it onto the uh, cathode. And then the anode has a slight shape like that. So once we have the the basic dimensions, those are really easy to input into a 3D design modeling software. I, I prefer to use Open SCAD. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of designing this 3D model, but you basically have to make a sphere, you make a cylinder, another cylinder, you subtract a bit, you then have a long rectangle and another long rectangle, and that's basically all you need to do to model this in, in 3D design software. You then take that 3D model and you export an STL file. After you've taken your STL file and you've imported it into your 3D printing software, I've printed the legs and the bulb separately. So this was printed in the TOG hackerspace using our new Prusa i3 MK3 3D printer. In a follow-up video, I'm going to go through the process of refining this 3D print using sandpaper and filling in some of the layers and polishing to make a very very fine quality master object that I can use to make silicon molds to make high quality resin casts of the bulb. I'm also going to be using a professional 3D printing service to produce additional high quality 3D prints of the bulb and the legs, the internal details of the legs which I'll also show in follow-up videos and the processing of them and kind of see what kind of results we can get with just a, a modern high quality desktop 3D printer and the professional services. So if you have any comments or questions, you can ask them in the comment box below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.